What's good, y'all? Proud by Poke here, and today I'm gonna show y'all what I think is the most underrated VST ever. It's actually crazy, bro. But before I get into that, first, I want to thank y'all for two things. One, I want to thank y'all for 100 subscribers, and two, I want to thank y'all again for getting me to 1,000 views um, on one of my videos, my one shot video. I know I talked about it before, but you know, it's like amazing to me how I was able to reach those two milestones in like two months so that's actually crazy to me and that makes me want to keep on making videos and all that stuff so i want to thank y'all and also 99 percent of y'all don't know this but i have been producing for less than a year now but i think um let me check when my first beat was made hold up my first beat was made on june 24 last year and now it's june 11 so that means that I've been producing for pretty much almost a year at this point. So for that, I want to do something special, you know, maybe like a, things I've learned from a year producing stuff like that, maybe like a tips and tricks video. You know, if you want to, you can leave some suggestions in the comments, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Right now you're probably wondering what VST I use to make a sample like that. It's this right here, the Podolsky synth by Yuhi. And right now I'm kind of like surprised that this VST is kind of like unknown because they've made some more known synths like the Diva, Zebra, and I think they also made the Hive synth and they're all like pretty well known in the producing community. So I don't really know how this is like almost completely unheard of. All right, so the first preset I have on this is the Sprinkled Mustard preset. First I put on an EQ, then an RC20 with the pad magic preset and the fresh air. Next I have the worm in a suit preset. It's a lead. I don't know why, but like the names here are kind of weird, but it's whatever though. It sounds kind of like retro but futuristic at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's how it feels to me. Well, first I put on a Valhalla Vintage Verb, the ambience mode, then the fresh air. I just put up some stuff. And then I took out that like low end thing. And now on Portal, I have the underwater preset from the grain synthesis bank. And now we have the Christmas 2012 preset. It's an ARP and this is pretty much like the thing that got me hooked on the VST because this is why my friend recommended it to me and this is how it's gonna sound right now. That sounds crazy to me, bro. And by the way, did I mention that this is a free VST too? I completely forgot to mention that this VST is free, bro. Like, now first I did an EQ, then a Valhalla with the plate mode on, then a shaper box, panning, and filter. Now 
we have the Abyss Base from TriFreezes HDL Culture 2 kit. I use this in like every video. Like y'all should not be surprised at this point. And y'all probably wondering why I didn't use the Podolsky synth for like a bass. And if I'm being honest, bro, I kind of like found, I found out that like the basses weren't really like that good, at least like good to my taste. Now we have these reverse bells and I don't know why but I've just been using reverse bells pretty much in all my samples lately. So the way that I got this, first I used the dong bell from Sino Things Cactus One Shot Kit. But then I put some ROM on it, the drone delay preset. So what I did, I just pressed Alt-Y, and then I pressed Accept, just to like reverse it in the piano roll. Then I pressed this recording button right here, I'm just recording. I went over here, just recording, run it to WAV file. And that's how I got this, I pretty much just like reversed it, that's really it. And without effects on that specific track, this is how it's going to sound. I put a fruity delay three, and then I put that to like 41%. RC20 vinyl three preset, and then I put like, I put the wobble on stereo, an EQ, another EQ, then the vintage chorus. So that's pretty much it for the breakdown of the samples. So if you liked the video or you learned something new, then like the video, subscribe, it helps me. And that's pretty much it. And also tell me if you like, if I talk a little more in the video, cause I'm talking way more than I usually talk in most of my videos. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it and peace.